If professors and doctors have found a method with which they can cure a disease, although they don't know why it actually works, what's wrong with that? You have a cure, you win. I'm happy it's happening today, and I'm full of expectation and hope that it will go well, that something really will happen. Well, yes, at first you're critical, but once I read up on it, I thought, it's the only way to go. One thing's for sure, there are fewer problems with fewer medicines. I drive a Harley, and I'm going to get well again, that's for sure. Hope springs eternal. People from all over the world come to Cologne full of confidence and hope that their serious illness can be cured. Their wellspring of dreams bears the name Excel. The Institute for Regenerative Medicine at the Eduardus Hospital in Cologne combines medical research and therapeutic application of patients' own adult stem cells. The waiting rooms are not very full, yet the Excel Center is the first private institute worldwide with an official permit to carry out complete stem cell therapies. In accordance with the German tissue law and the German drugs law, the Excel Center has a certificate for the extraction of bone marrow from the hip, the recovery of peripheral blood stem cells, the preparation of stem cells and the transplantation of stem cells. The principle is simple. First, the bone marrow is extracted from the hip bone. This procedure takes about 30 minutes in total. First of all, the place where the incision will be made is anesthetized. And then, using a fine needle, about 150 to 200 milliliters of bone marrow is extracted. In the laboratory, the harvested bone marrow is checked in sterile tubes to determine the quality and quantity of the stem cells it contains. To do that, the stem cells are first isolated using a chromatographic procedure which separates the stem cells from the red and white blood cells as well as from the plasma. The samples are processed in sterile conditions so that the stem cells destined for the patients cannot be contaminated with viruses, bacteria or fungi. The clean stem cells are counted and checked for their vitality. If enough vital stem cells are present, the stem cell concentrate is suitable for use with the patient. The last step is implanting the stem cells. The way the stem cells are used depends on the illness the patient is suffering from. There are different ways of applying the stem cells. Intravenously, angiographic application via a catheter, intrathecally using a lumbal incision, direct injection in the target area by means of an operation. In the XL center, patients with diverse degenerative diseases are treated. These are diabetes mellitus, stroke, diseases of the heart and arteries, spinal injuries, multiple sclerosis. And there are other patients who are hoping that a stem cell transplant will be successful.